You know we always have the hot topics in the kitchen. We have to relive this epic moment from Good Day at 10A. Look at that. You guys oh, love somehow people man. voted for me to <laughs> smash a pie in anime's face this morning. Uh, we celebrated National Pie Day with the pie in the faces you just saw. We used our Insta poll to let our viewers decide who took it on. And as you can see, anime was the winner. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. by the way, this was anime's idea for, yeah. for Pie Day. So just ironically, you know, she got 400 votes yeah. to take wow. a pie to the face this morning. Yeah, so. and it's funny. I, I said, I was like, Annie Mae was the perfect person for that to happen to because she's such a good sport. Yeah. And it's just crazy she how is. it backfired because I'm sure she didn't think she'd be the one right. to get a pie, right? Honestly, we all thought Tucker was probably going to take a pie to the face. Yeah. Early this morning, Steve, a lot of people were voting for him, too. So, uh, in the end, Annie Mae took it like a champ. I love it. And, love uh, it. yeah, she, she's good. <laughs> she's trying to go around and get all of you all pies, right? Well, you like, saw oh, there oh, were oh, other pies on the table, so oh. we were all just like, okay, let me get out the Way, yeah, I'm not about to take a pie to Yeah, I just have one question. It's lying lunch hour, so what was the flavor of the pie? That's what mm. I want to know. I think what it was, was whipped flavor? cream. It was, it was a lot of whipped cream, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm never going to go wrong with whipped cream. But earlier, we yeah. had a whole variety of pies yeah. uh, when someone else came in, so yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. We're, we're <laughs> celebrating full force today. All right, also checking in on what's so slaying this morning, we're starting off with an RSVP debate. So listen to this. Producer Chris is in the control room with all of the details. Fill us in, Chris. Yeah, this one's complicated. I'll be honest with you. It comes to us from Twitter. Chi Chi posted this. So a couple sent out wedding invitations with an RSVP deadline. Very reasonable timelines. Guests who RSVP'd after the date were told the RSVP is closed. Guests had missed the deadline and as a consequence will miss their wedding. Final numbers had been turned in. What do you think? She went on to post a picture of the note the tardy guests received from the bride and groom that said your presence will be missed. Now, anyone who's ever planned a wedding knows how much thought and planning goes into it and what it's like having to track down guests who have not responded yet while you're trying to send those final numbers and payments to your vendors. Make the place cards whatever you have to do. So we want you to chew on that for a minute. Telling friends and family who are as SVP late. They missed the boat for your wedding. Do you like it or not? You can see 60% already say they like it, 40% not. You can vote by logging onto our website, scanning that QR code. Makia, I will start with you. Yeah, I, I'm, you with like the six, yeah I'm with the 60% here. I like it. I mean, I completely understand planning an event is already stressful, right. you know? And so I just want to make it easier on the wedding party and then a lot of money goes into this. So just respect the deadlines, yeah. you know? Because mm. also those plates too are super expensive. So, hey, I, I, I'm with it. I like it. What do you guys think? Yeah, I, I think it works because a caterer, we always get the phone call, well, we don't have enough people or, so, yeah. I say go with it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like it, I have to be honest with you. Oh. Uh, only because, you know, a lot of us, we have big mama in the family. <laughs> that may not be tech savvy. And also, you're thinking about others that are older in age. They don't really know how to utilize the, the phone or even the laptop and mm -hmm. the RSVP the way that we do. So yeah. if they can't do it, do we say, guess what, you're out of luck? Mm. I don't know, because I want my big mama to be at my wedding. Yeah. I don't know well, about you, well, my auntie, well, my auntie. Put, put in some yeah. extra effort for big mama. You Mail know, her the invitation, yeah. Yeah. You know. give her a call, make yeah. sure the nieces the grand, the, the grandchildren, yeah. everyone is on deck to make sure Big Mom right. is informed. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I like it. Sorry, Dennis, mm -hmm. I gotta disagree with you on that. And can we just talk about how beautiful that, that response was? Because if yeah. that was me, it would have been straight up like, nope, sorry, you ain't coming. <laughs> no way. Uh -uh. So, I mean, let's give the, you know, give the, give it up for that couple. But yeah, yeah. It, like you said, Nakia, to your point, it costs so much money mm -hmm. to put on a wedding. And when people send out invitations, they send it out months in advance. Yeah. You know, so you have plenty of time to let the couple know if you're gonna go or not. So sorry, Dennis. It's okay. Big I'm Mama, just, you go out the way to the I'm next. I'm worried about one. Big Mama. That's all. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, coming up next, love is in the air, and apparently, it smells like cookie. Mm. <laughs> A dating hack my mom told me that weirdly, oddly, stupidly worked. She said when you invite a guy over, you should be baking cookies before they get over so that your apartment still smells of cookies. So the first time my boyfriend came over, he, he was like, <laughs> and I'm like, He's like, whoa, your your apartment smells so good. And I'm like, what? This is always how it smells. This is naturally, it's like always naturally like this. We tricked him and we manipulated them and now every time they smell a cookie, they think of us. 
Huh. Mm. Oh, Actually, nice. nodding your head at this audible. Because you I heard this before. I did you this it? before. <laughs> yes, I did, and it did not go well. So I, I did oh, that. No. My homegirl was like, "Girl, you gotta make some cookies." Da, 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 da. I put the cookies in the oven. I go take a shower. I'm getting myself together. Then I yeah. start smelling something burning. Oh. So yeah. So is that yeah, so? So make sure you pay attention to your cookies because yeah. when he came in, it was a little smoky and it was burnt cookies. <laughs> but he was such a good sport about it. He still ate like the top of the cookie, <laughs> scraping it off. So yeah, I, I, it's funny this is oh, coming up. So, yeah, I definitely. Did. That reminds me from a scene of Clueless, one of yeah. my favorite like old time movies, yeah. where Shear tried, tried to do the same thing, uh -huh. it all up. They just went out to eat and they yeah. in the end. Mm -hmm. But uh, millions of people liked her cookie hack. Others pointed out that the same hack was used in the movie. Who? You know, well, I didn't just say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, others say that if you cannot bake, just use a cookie scented candle. Mm. I like that. So, Dennis, yeah. uh, trying a little um, what Pelovian effect on a potential partner? Do you like it or not? I love it. Now, me, mm. I love oatmeal raisin and cookies. You know, it's, it's a combination of, you know, being healthy, but also with a little bit of sweetness. Okay. That's what my wife did for me one day for my birthday. She Aww. made a whole lot of oatmeal raisin cookies, and she said, look, I know you love not being healthy, but being healthy at the same time. So, here's some oatmeal raisin cookies. Mm. Enjoy it. Now, chef, I can eat about 20 oatmeal raisin cookies. <laughs> so, do you have a recipe for me? Well, I have to say, that's not my suit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't drive that lane. <laughs> That is not my ministry. I, I do that. I don't know. Okay. Well, you have a lot of strains, as we can see on this yes. table here. Yeah. Yeah. But that's interesting. I've never yeah. thought about that or tried that. I like the cookie scented mm. candle idea. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Can't go wrong with that's it. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's wrap things up now with a super polarizing topic. We are talking about couples who baby talk. For some people, it is the ultimate ick. But experts say that it may be a way to bond and to keep and hold someone's attention. They also found that longtime lovers communicate communicate with each other the same way they do with babies or dogs. So, Autumn, baby talking to your partner, do you like it or not? Absolutely not. My my boyfriend is like 6'6 six, six and like this big guy. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my face. Like, you know, do that with the baby. You have a five month old. He does that with the baby and it's so adorable. But don't come baby talking to me. I'm, I'm a grown woman. I don't need none of that. Oh, so, yeah. so, Autumn has spoken. How do you feel about this? I thing? agree. I have a one year old daughter who Oh, two now, two. She turned two on Tuesday. Yeah. And I do my baby talking with my daughter. Yeah. Can't baby talk with my wife. Yeah. She look at me and say, what are you doing? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> So, no, yeah, I save it for my daughter. Chef, you want to weigh in on this one? Yeah, I, leave me with the baby talking. Chef. Doogie, doogie, do. No, thank you. 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 <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, I'm with you guys on that one. Yeah. I still like the, the babe, hey babe, yeah. hey boo. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. talk sweet to me. Yeah. But not like a baby, like you no. said. Exactly. You're a grown woman. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But if this works for your relationship at home, hey, do what works for you, what makes yeah. you happy, all that. We are here for whatever makes you happy. Make sure the baby <laughs> talk while but. having some cookies. Yeah. 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 Ah, and ah, some milk. Ah, I see what you did there. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs>